Good morning, students. Adurki Papa Sahib Mundi High School in Avla welcomes you all back again to our next session of English 2. Myself, Mrs. Naira Sheikh, your English 2 teacher, has come up with a new video. Our today's topic is Preposition. Students, in the image given here, you can see there are many objects kept there. Along with the objects, there is a rabbit. In the first image, you can see the rabbit is behind the box. In the second image, the rabbit has come in front of the box. In the third image, the rabbit is between the two boxes. In the fourth image, the rabbit has come over the box. In the fifth image, the rabbit is by the box. In the next image, you can see the rabbit has gone under the table. And then on the table. And finally, in the last image, you can see the rabbit is inside the box, that is in the box. Correct, students? Now, these sort of words where we use as on, under, next to, in front of, behind, in, over, all these words are known as prepositions. In the image here, students, you can see the keys are kept on the table. In the second image, the keys are shown under the table. In the third image, the keys are next to the table. In the fourth image, the keys are in front of the table. In the fifth image, the keys are behind the table. And in the sixth image, the keys are kept inside the bowl. Now, when I use these words such as on, under, in, in front of, on the left of, on the right of, above, between, next to, behind, is where, it's the direction in which we have to look or to find. These sort of words are used in a preposition. Now, what is a preposition? Let's define it. A preposition is a word placed before a noun or a pronoun to show the relationship between the person or the thing denoted by a noun or a pronoun and some other things denoted by some other words in the sentence. So, a preposition is seen either before a noun or before a pronoun. And it also shows us the relationship between the person and the thing that is given into the image. For example, students, the pen is in the pen stand. So this shows us where the pen is kept. It's kept inside the pen stand. The kite is on the tree. Again, the direction. They're mentioning where the kite is. The kite is kept on the tree. The cap seller slept under a tree. So you can see an image here where the cap seller is sleeping under the tree. So it's again giving us the direction of where the cap seller is sleeping. Simple prepositions are words like at, for, in, of, on, over and under. These common prepositions can be used to describe a location, time or a place. So these simple prepositions that are there, they give you a location to describe it and you can know where a particular object is, the time where it is and the place where it is kept. We will see some few examples ahead now students. He sat on the chair. So on, the word on tells us where the person is sitting. He sat on the chair. There is some milk in the fridge. Now milk is the object. So where is the milk kept but it is inside the fridge. So the word in is a preposition. Next, she was hiding under the table. Pronoun, that is she, is related to where she was hiding under the table. So the word under is known as a preposition. The next example, the cat jumped off the counter. Again, Cat, that's the noun, it's shown in a relationship with how it jumped and where did it jump, the direction shown off the counter. 
So of again is a preposition. Fill in the blanks with a suitable preposition. Will you come dash me? So what will you fill there? With me. Second one. There is a party dash my bungalow. There is a party at my bungalow. Third one. It is very cold dash winter. What will we add there students? Correct. It is very cold in winter. The next one. He just walked out dash room. So where did he move? Out of the room. Students, I hope you understood the small little topic of preposition. Thank you for watching this video and I would request everyone to kindly subscribe to our channel to avail further notifications of our upcoming videos. Thank you and have a nice day.